So welcome to another exciting episode with your host, Timmy25, on the show, The Man With The Beard. And today, I have had the best thing happen. So basically, I've been suffering for like two days now, trying to get a Vegas Pro to reload back on my computer after doing a friggin' Windows 10 update. Um, I ran the Windows 10 upgrade uh, from Windows 8.1, like when it was released a few months ago, and it's been running fine. There's not been any issues. That Vegas has been working fine. Vegas 12 has been working fine as well. And then two days ago, Windows put a update out for the Windows 10 Home Edition, um, which is meant to optimize the Windows Server, work better interface is better, change a few little buttons, make some things look more clearer, and all the rest of the crap that goes with it. So basically, I said, hey, why not? Bloody free, let's do this. So I did the update, and then Vegas would not work. Vegas 12 stopped working, and Vegas 13, my brand new program costing $800, stopped working. So what do i do i spent two days of my time that i could have been spending editing videos for my channel pulling my hair out and turning great so basically uh, i figured out uh, through some wicked uh, guy on the net basically this guy here i went to this forum uh, creativecow.net and found this uh, guy here who had this issue with his sony vegas 13 same error code and all that bullshit um and this guy gave a strange um answer which i tried already but then he replied back saying that he's seen some vpn connections on his network drivers which weren't there before so i was like what what vpn network drive because I, I i i turned three of them off but apparently there's more than three so I'm just going to show you on the devices manager. So if, if you guys don't know how to access your devices manager on your computer on Windows 10, you just literally right click on the start menu. Device manager is there. You just click on it and it opens up this window here. And basically under network adapters, you will see, obviously these are normal. Like if you've got these many connections, these are normal. For my computer, these are normal. These four here. These fuckers. These extra ones here, all this extra bullshit here, is not normal. Now, these things are created by antivirus software, by some bullshit anyway. So, they're created by other software that may be on your computer. And anyone that has got TAP, T-A-P, on the front of it, doesn't matter what's following after, because some of the forums said just the Win32 adapter OAS, which is bullshit. It's not just the OAS. It's all the adapters. VPN 9. Whatever there is on here. Anything that begins with TAP. Is not part of your system. It's something that's been added. By an external software of some sort. Either it being antivirus. Either it being some fucking. Other bullshit program. It's been added. And this is what's stopping. Vegas from starting. So after disabling. all, And I'm going to remove these fuckers by the way. I've just disabled them for the minute. I'm actually going to fucking remove it. But after disabling these Vegas, look, it's fucking working. There's Sony Vegas opening up. And I did all these things. I fucking resetted Vegas. I uninstalled Vegas. I reinstalled Vegas. I uninstalled it again. Reinstalled it again. Rebooted my computer. Downloaded some bullshit Speed PC Pro. All of that bullshit is not required. All you need to do is go to device manager turn the tap crap off and then sony vegas will load up like like it's supposed to no issues no problem it just does what it's supposed to do so i hope this video helped uh, and, uh, some of you guys out uh, who have having this issue this is a windows 10 related problem with sony vegas so Sony Vegas, if you haven't, have you been using Sony Vegas on Windows 10 and you've been having some serious issues with getting it to load up, um, it basically did not load uh, beyond the actual the splash screen or anything. It just goes straight to an error code. It's not a temporary fix, it's a permanent fix. 
And if you ever see any of these new shit appear on your computer devices manager, just remove it. Because that's some bullshit that's going to stop you from editing. So, this has been Tamin25. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it's been helpful, please hit a like on the video. And if there's any issues that you guys are having with your Sony Vegas software, don't forget to leave a comment in the section at the bottom of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.